Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 35 in chapter 29. Chapter 29 is about electromagnetic induction and Faraday's law. So there we can see we have a short section of a wire. The length is A and is located at a distance B uh, with the another wire, right? The long wire. And the long wire carries current I. Ask you to find the EMF between the ends of short sections. And then in the first one in the same direction or in the opposite direction. So first one we look at in the same direction. In the same direction, so in this case is the uh, short wire will moving down, right? See, this is a magnetic field that by the long straight wires, it is pointing in, right? And then you can use the right hand rule to determine your thumb pointing down and then your four fingers will rotate this way. See, this is how it rotate. When it rotate, so at this side is in. Next one, how can you determine the magnetic field dance? For this small bar, still right hand rule, right? You use the magnetic field dance that goes through your four fingers your four fingers, right? And then your hand, your right hand, and then your thumb pointing to this direction, so pointing down. So it's pointing down, and then your four fingers must be this way. If you just open your right hand, so this is your thumb in the V direction, of course, your four fingers will point to the right, this one. So. The EMF points towards the wire. This is a direction. And another thing in the opposite direction. In the opposite direction, this time the V is up, right? So your right hand point, the sound point up, open your right hand. So that is a magnetic field and so go through from the face of your hand to the back of your right hand. And then your four fingers will pointing to the left. This is uh, pointing away the wires. Now we need to calculate the magnetic field for this induced EMF. See, first of all, we look at the magnetic field by this wire. As we can see, it's a function of the R. R is the location, the distance from the location to the wire, right? And the, in this case, we can see the magnetic field changes with the distance. Uh, from the point to the wire. So that means the magnetic field dance at this end and at this end are different. Agree? Yes. So looks like we need to do the integral, right? So we cut this uh, short wire in infinity sections. And each small sections, we can count fractions, we can consider it's a small bar, right? And this is small bar, this is small bar, the length is dr, right? The length is dr. So we can get its induced em by this small fraction is a b l v, right? L, this one we can replace as the dr. Now we input a b inside, we can see the function epsilon. Is a function is a d epsilon is a function with a dr. So now we do the integral for r from the b to b plus a. At this end is b, this end a plus b, right? Finally, we get the equation look like this one. Thank you.